Hey everyone, someone recently asked me, can you show a Cypress example testing a component from Microsoft's fast design system? Specifically, if we go to the select one, that's the one they were asking. Now it looks like a regular select, but if you inspect the markup, you'll find that there are shadow roots everywhere. Um, you know, uh, the selection that is hidden also operates using shadow DOM. So how would you test this? So this is an example of what we we're trying to test custom web components. Now, if you read the documentation, then you will see that we can use it with a CDN bundle. And all we have to do, just copy paste the components, fast select with options inside. And by default, the first one will be selected and let's start testing. Okay. So I'm going to move my code editor to the side. I'm going to open Cypress. You can find the full project at my GitHub account. Cypress fast example is the repo name. I'm going to put it in the description of this video. And to end testing, Electron works. And let's click on the select spec. Okay, so what do we see? Right now we see nothing. Well, because we are not opening or visiting the page. So the structure of my repository, that little example HTML is right there in the root of the repo. And notice that we have a working fast component. All right. Now, if we have a fast select, we can probably just find it right on a page. So let's get it. Yep. Finds it. I mean, we can say it should be visible. It is visible. And if we look at the markup of this component, how does it know which is the selected value? I mean, this is not a real select, right? So right now, it has current value equals one attribute. Okay. So we can say, well, end is an assertion, right? Because we use should be visible and have attribute a, a current value and the value is one. Perfect. Now we can continue working with the same element by saying, you know, click on it. And notice the drop down expands with fast options. Uh, or one of the things we can do, right, if we run this test and we look at one second, right, we see the time travel and debugger. And after we can see that, uh, let's remove highlights, it has a class open. So after we click, we can say should have class open. So we're checking how it works. And then once it's open, right, you can see all fast options. So inside this element, we can say find fast option. Mm, do we want to do it like this? Actually, no, we want to get this list box inside. Okay, so this is it, right? Inside fast select, we have role list box. So we'll say attribute role list box. And right now it fails to find it because there is a shadow boundary. Okay, no biggie. We can set it globally or we can say include shut down as an option to our querying command. And now we find it. And once we found it, Right, that's where fast options are. Okay, so let's add an assertion, should be visible and get fast option. And we can say should have length free, right? Because it shows that there are three of them. And maybe we can say, I, I'm interested in fast option with option two, for example. And Right, finds it and let's click on it. 
Okay, and notice that the list box closed, but the current value for the select is now two. And the list box, if we check it, right? So the select itself should not have class open and the list box should not be visible. Okay, so we kind of went full circle. We clicked open, confirm that it expands, right? Selected the option and then confirm that that option is selected and the drop down is no longer shown. So this is how you would work with components from the Microsoft Fast Design System.